Cam Buford. Cam, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, you ain't done that quick, buddy. Um, <laughs> talk about the win, man. You get a second, uh, two wins in consecutive weeks. Your quarterback was rolling today. Talk about what that ball is like in the air coming to you. It's beautiful. It's nice. I mean, you see how he throws the ball from from the couch. It looks it looks even better in person, man. He's got an arm. The kid is special. Um, winning though, winning though is tremendous. Um, to be able to come out here, have the uh, have the conference, the like uh, the divisional win, I think, and and the, out here in the new stadium, that is just it's absolutely breathtaking. <clears throat> it's all the big deal, man. It's it's uh, it, it it makes all the work worth it. Now you guys. You and you got a chance to start to build some camaraderie with Herbert in preseason because you guys were um, not the starters initially. But talk about your development throughout the season to this point, and now late in the, late in the season, you guys are the ones responsible for these wins, getting a lot of production. Talk about how that feeling and how that feels. Yeah, no, I mean it feels amazing to just to to, to come out with 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 the guys that you have in your locker room and and. and to have a job to do and, and all that kind of stuff. It, it feels good to basically work for something bigger than yourself. Like you said, we've been working for this all off season, all through the season. <clears throat> and uh, from where we started to where we are now, the growth, the amount of the amount that our quarterback and our, and our unit, our whole team has evolved is tremendous. And like, I can't, I can't say it enough. Like there was even an instance out there in the game <clears throat> where uh uh, Herb had to go through a couple checks before he found the right one to, to get us in the right play for the uh, for what the defense was giving us. And, you know, he went through it and uh, he ultimately got us in the right situation. And I remember back a couple games ago, earlier in the season, it was like the exact same situation. And, um, you know, he didn't. But like I said, to be able to see that evolution in him and the in the team, all the work that we've been putting in, it feels it feels tremendous. And congratulations on the consecutive wins. Now, now that you have two wins back to back in the belt, what do you do from? Do you under? Do you have a different mindset going into practice next week, building it, preparing for the next game, or is it the same thing? You guys just having more confidence in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think con confidence absolutely does come with winning. I don't think there's a doubt about that, but I don't think that's going to change how we come to work. Um, we as a team, I, I, I'm so proud of every every single individual on this team because to go through a season like how we have, it's it, it takes a lot out of you, man. I mean, this is one of those professions like everyone in the world is watching what you do when you go to work <clears throat> and everybody has something to say about it. Like everyone on this call is going to have something to say about it. Everyone's going to have something to tweet about it. And this is our job. You know what I mean? So that kind of life to live a life like that as a human with, with all this attention and all these eyes bearing down on you. It, it's a lot, man. And, and I, I can't, I can't say enough for everybody in the locker room, all the coaches, man. Cause like I said, as a human to have all these people just berating you basically all season to keep, to keep moving forward, to keep standing up in front of a group of men, to keep your head held high. I can't say enough for it. It's, it's really inspiring. <clears throat> well, we'll keep up the good works chief. We want some more W's out of you guys. Have a good one. Thank you.